Hi, hello. Uh, we shall be uh, we shall be talking about how to remove serial correlation from a regression model. Indeed, there are few ways to do it, and one of them is fast differenced method which is explained below. Okay, so what is fast differenced method? Suppose a re regression model is suffering from serial correlation, then following steps can, can be taken to remove serial correlation. So first step, convert all the variables into first differenced and then then run the model through the origin meaning that there would be no constant or intercept here we have three variables such as education investment and gdp here education is the dependent variable while the rest are independent variable. So let's start the process now. Okay, here I'm showing all the variables. Just I'm showing. This is the observation from 1980 until 2010. So we have three variable, education, right? And what we have done, we have converted this education variable into first differenced, and that is D education, right? Uh, so here I'm showing what is to be done. Actually, you can see from here, uh, it has done like this. You can see from here, uh, this, uh, this minus this, you can get this one. Then this 66 minus 65, you can get one. 67 minus 66, you can get one. So that is the way uh, you can get the first difference of education and that is D education. Our second variable is GDP, right? And the first difference of GDP is D GDP. That is here. And our other variable is a, a investment. And the first difference of in, in investment is D investment and this is the variable okay so th these are my variables are here right okay now uh, we can uh, we can we, we can run the model first and so first I go to I go to statistics and then I select the time series and then I select setup utilities so declare data set to be time series model okay that I do first okay and uh, our uh, we select the observation so and I select okay so 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 my data from 1980 until 2010 so we can run the model so i go to statistics then i go to linear model regression right okay and our dependent variable is education and independent variable one is gdp and one is investment, right? This is my model, right? Now we check whether this model has serial correlation or not. I press OK. 
so this is my model you can see education is the dependent variable GDP and in investment are the independent variable now we check whether the whether the residual of this model has serial correlation or not okay first we create the residual how to create I go to statistics then I go to post uh, 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 estimation then prediction residual right I select this one okay then uh, the residual I put it as R1 the new variable name and here I select residual right then press ok so the residual has been created that is R1 ok now uh, uh, we check whether this residual has serial correlation or not I go to statistics right then I go to the you know there is a uh, spe uh, specification test right here I can do specification test okay then uh, here from here I select Bruch Godfrey test you can see from here Bruch uh, Godfrey test I can ch check this one uh, sorry is a Bruch uh, Godfrey test and I, I select lag suppose I select lag one right I select uh, lag one and then I press ok Okay, here you can see the Bruch, Bruch Godfrey a test and the null hypothesis there is no serial correlation that is the null hypothesis and probability is very small 0 0.70 percent here the probability I am showing here the p value is actually uh, actually 0 point seven zero zero percent which which is less than five percent so we can reject the null hypothesis and can accept the alternative hypothesis meaning that our residual has serial correlation meaning that our model has serial correlation okay now the question is that how to re how to remove the serial correlation so so uh, i i told that there are two guidelines and that is first difference method number one is convert all the variables into first difference then run the model through the origin meaning that there, there, there should not be any constant. So I do it, and you know that I have, I have already the co 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 converted all the variables into first difference. You can see education is D education, GDP is D GDP, investment is d investment so the variables have already been you know ha already been con con converted into first difference so i can run the model again having first difference variable so i go to linear models linear regression models okay so here i select r education sorry d education that is the first difference of education and here i select d gdp and i select d investment right so i have selected all these variables right and this this model should pass through the origin meaning that there should not be any constant or intercept 
So what I do, I select suppress constant term, right? I select suppress co constant term and I select OK. You can see that this is my model. Uh, D education is the dependent variable. D GDP and D in investment are the independent variable. And here is no constant, right? Okay, now I uh, I create the residual of this new model. So what I do, I go to statistics, and I I post estimation and prediction residual, right? So this time that variable name of the residual is R two. I select residuals here, right? Okay, so the the, the thing has been created R to residual. Now I check whether this residual has serial correlation or not. So I go to statistics as before. Then I, I, I go to the I, I go to the linear models and linear diagnostic specification test right I select all these things. I select it. Okay, then I took the Bruch Bruch Godfrey test, right? Bruch Godfrey test, and I take lag one as before. Press OK. And this one is the my null hypothesis. There is no serial correlation, and p value is 6.23 percent. Here probability value is 6.23 percent, which is more than 5 percent. So so, so it is more than 5 percent, meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis, rather we accept null hypothesis, meaning that we accept no serial correlation. That means, this, may, that means this model has no serial correlation. So the serial correlation has been removed successfully. And thank you very much for being with me for a while.